George Masvidal has tweeted out that he is unretired. Who would he fight and where? And I don't know how to accept that. Like, um, retired, so you guys understand, that word has never been more important than since the UFC began working with the United States Anti-Doping Agency. And even though that relationship has come to an end, it seamlessly rolled into a new and the current drug testing partner of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. I bring that up because the word retired used to be a word that we used, and everybody understood what it meant, but it didn't bound you to anything. It wasn't like the word marriage. Like, if you say you are, there's not consequences that come with then saying you aren't. Or if you say you are, there's not consequences negatively that come from changing your mind. So, George Mosvall would currently be trained on what he had to live under for the last seven years as it pertains to the word retirement. Of which, if you retire, you do not need to give a sample. You do not need to enter the pool. You do not need to respond or respect USADA in any fashion because you are retired. Now, the other part of that is you cannot unretire until you have returned to the pool for six months. And the only way back to the pool is to unretire. And I tell you that because there, there was a big joke in the office when Michael Scott declared bankruptcy and he walks out and he goes, everybody can I have your attention. I declare bankruptcy. I guess silly as that was, and then Toby had to come in and explain to him the whole process. That joke is real with the word retire. All he has to do is say he's retired. Now there's consequences if he uses those words. Like, if he was to use that and then refuse a drug test from USADA, there's consequences, which is go right ahead. You do not have to give us this sample, but before you can return, we're going to need two clean samples, and we're not guaranteeing you when we're coming to get those. And you'll have a minimum of six months in the pool. Right? So many people think it's just six months in the pool. Well, no, it's six months in the pool and two clean samples. USADA might choose to come and get those, and they might not. Like, there, there's a lot that goes to it. But the innuendo that George would unretire and then be welcomed into the octagon is fiction. He would have to have a massively sellable idea to do it. And I'm talking about to the octagon, not to fighting. He has his own promotion, and there's a number of other promotions. Mike Perry has called George Mosvidal out. Dave Feldman has a jackpot full of money for George Mosvidal to accept that call out. I have never seen somebody call George Mosvidal out that didn't get responded to. Perhaps this is the response. I mean, I will tell you, it's going to be very difficult for George Mosvidal to come out of retirement when he's got one guy, Mike Perry, his size, calling for him in his sport, which is bare knuckles. It's going to be very hard to do that and go and face anybody else. But no other organization would have as much weight on the word retirement. And that's the word that Masvidal used when he unretired. He didn't say, I'm back. That's very different. He didn't say, I'm fighting again. He didn't say, I'm going to come whip your ass, Mike Perry. He said, I'm unretired. And I'm just bringing to you that word used to not mean much. It now has legal bearing. And he chose to use that word, which could be an indicator that he plans to go back to the UFC. Now, that is a one in a million opportunity. I mean, there's a one in a million chance that he goes back. And if he got everything together and he got it all planned, he's got a deal done behind the scenes, that would have to be him versus Gaethje at 70 for the BMF. 
the only way you could make up for his retirement or that you could make up for, for the discrepancy within records is if you spot him the weight and you move Gaethje to 170 and you make it for BMF. And you only have one chance to do that was at UFC 300. And Max currently already has dibs on Gaethje at 300, right? Like, I don't think this is going to happen. I don't think that at 300, Gaethje and Mosvall are going to fight for the BMF. But I know Mosvall is not going to fight in the UFC ever again, and that it is not his choice. Unless it's at 300 for the belt against Gaethje. I'm not predicting it for you. I'm, I'm all but guaranteeing you it's not going to happen. But he used a very specific word that is not within a vernacular that George generally speaks. And he used it for a reason. And he never meant his retirement when he said it. He had his fingers crossed when he said it. I mean, I mean, you could feel when George retired that it was very insincere and that it was George attempting to get in front of something just in case. Like, like, like George was puckered up and worried, I'm going to get released. Let me get in front of this thing. And as soon as a little bit of time went by and he's looking around going, hey, I don't think they were going to release me. He started going, hey, man, I, I really don't want to be retired. So welcome back. I think we have a lot more fun sport when George is back. But if he's coming back to fight in the UFC, he's got, he's got one crack out of it, and that is small. It's very small, very unlikely. But the one crack is 300 Gaethje, and specifically for the BMF, at 170 pounds. If, if you have all of those ingredients, George could be back on a pay-per-view near you. If you don't have those ingredients, but George really wants to fight again, he's either going to have to fight Mike Perry, who called him out in his own sport, or he's going to need a damn good explanation why he's fighting again, and it's not against Mike Perry in his own sport. 